All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, and welcome to today's lab activity, Adventures with Surface Tension or Cohesion. You have three challenges you need to do. With Activity 2, you will then have a graphic organizer that you'll need to fill out so I know that you have some understanding of what happened. <clears throat> this is a good opportunity or lab to pick up some extra credits, so let's get started talking about Activity 1, Crowded Space. Essentially, what you do is you take your balance, and set it to 3.6 grams. Again, we're checking to make sure you know how to read the balance scale there. You will then take your shiny Lincoln penny. Make sure it's nice and dry. And the way you do that is take a little piece of a paper towel, which actually kind of looks like a tree bark. Make sure it's good and dry. Put it right in the center of the left-hand pan. And then using your eyedropper with water only, you very, very carefully attempt to put a bead of water on that penny so that the water stays crowded on the top of the penny until the mass of the penny and the water bead balance out at 3.6 grams. Notice there cannot be any water droplets spilling off on the pan. If I see those, there'll be no credit. And if it breaks while you're doing it and the water spills, you'll need to remove the penny, dry the penny, dry the pan, and start over. All right? This will be an individual thing. Uh, each person can pick up extra credit for themselves. When you fail, you need to give your partner a chance to see if they can pick it up. Make sure you dry that off before you start over. Okay, the next one to pick up extra credit is the floating yen. Here we have a yen from, I guess, China. It's a very small coin, and the neat thing is it's made out of aluminum, so it's got a very low mass. And our goal is to take this aluminum yen and very, very carefully make it so that we can drop it very gently on the surface of the liquid and actually get it to float. There you can see that the yen is actually floating on the surface. If it doesn't work out, notice how it's actually denting in the surface tension. You can actually see the dent there. That's amazing. You can imagine the network or membrane holding that up, all the forces of the water molecules grabbing onto each other. If your yen sinks, you remove it by using the micro spatula. Just get it out of there. Dry it off. Make sure it's nice and dry. Get it all nice and dry until you try it again. And when you're done, then please put it on the blotter paper. That's individual also. Now, the one that you do then as a group, that you can earn credit for a group, is take your pan, fill it with about a half an inch of water. We don't need to put a whole lot of water in there. Let's you know, save water, save the rainforest, save the whales, all that good stuff. And let it sit there until it settles down. Then come over to the workstation here, send one person over, and their job is to cut out the letter V out of aluminum foil. The sample on the board here shows you about the size that you should be going for. So here I've cut out my letter V. Then you take it over and very carefully place it into the water and set it on there so that it floats on the surface tension. And you can actually see it floating. Make sure the point is pointing towards the other side. Then call me over so I can witness this. What you do then is you will put just one drop of soap solution from the bubble stuff. Don't get any of it in there until it's time. You take it and put it right on the inside point of the V, and the V should shoot across. And if it shoots across, mine didn't quite make it, the whole way and smacks into the other side. It's got to touch the side to get the extra credit. You could try maybe one additional drop. Come on, baby. Nope, yeah, not going to do it. Surface tension has already been destroyed. So if that doesn't work and you want to try it again, you dump it out, rinse it out because it's got some soap in it left. That's why you don't put a bunch of soap in there. Rinse it out good, fill it up, rinse off your letter V, get all the soap off of it, and you can try it again until time runs out. Now, once you're done with this then, each person must take a graphic organizer, and what you do is you put the statements. There's five statements explaining how that boat shoots off, as you saw. You put them in order from what the start to how the boat finally moves, what things happen with surface tension and water molecules. 
you must rewrite the statement. You can't number them and then just put numbers in. Rewrite them, and then that is your homework for tomorrow. Okay, make sure when you're done, you clean up.